My dear children, in this video we are going to see about binary representation for signed numbers from chapter 2. Let's see what is signed numbers. Number with a positive or negative sign is called it as signed number. When we see a decimal number, we can easily tell whether it is positive number or negative number by using its sign. How the computer is going to understand whether it is positive number or negative number? Because computer knows only binary numbers which is in the form of 0 and 1. So we would learn how to represent positive or negative binary numbers in computer memory. We can represent the signed binary numbers in different ways. In our textbook given only three methods. First one is signed magnitude representation. Second one is 1's complement and third one is 2's complement. Here most popular and commonly used method is 2's complement. See here computers can handle both positive, positive means unsigned or numbers with plus sign. Is called it as positive numbers and negative, negative means numbers with minus sign. Is called it as negative numbers important point the numbers are represented in computers in different ways we are given only three methods first one is signed magnitude representation second one one's complement and third one is two's complement to point the simplest method to represent negative binary numbers is called signed magnitude here signed magnitude representation is the simplest method to represent negative binary numbers Important point, in signed magnitude method, the leftmost bit is most significant bit. Here, our leftmost bit is called it as most significant bit. It is also called it as sign bit or parity bit. It is used to represent the sign, whether it is positive number or negative number. If it is positive number, the sign bit represented by 0. If it is negative number, the sign bit represented by 1. We are having two parts. One is sign bit and another one is magnitude. Magnitude means our binary values. Here we are having both parts. Sign with the magnitude. So it is called it as signed magnitude representation. One signed magnitude representation. If the number has plus sign or no sign, it will be considered as positive. Number with the plus sign or no sign, it is called it as positive number. If the number has minus sign, it will be considered as negative number. The number has minus sign, it will be considered as negative number. We are given example. Next to point, in signed binary representation, the leftmost bit is considered as sign bit. The leftmost bit is called it as sign bit or parity bit. Or if the bit is zero. If the leftmost bit, it is also called it as most significant bit or sign bit or parity bit. If it is 0, it is positive number. And if it is 1, it is a negative number. The sign bit is 1, it is a negative number. Therefore, a signed binary number has 8 bits. Here we have used 8 bits representation. Here only 7 bits used for storing values. Here we have used 7 bits for storing our binary values. Remaining 1 bit to represent the sign whether it is positive number or negative number. And the 1 bit is used for sign. Next we can see an example here given plus 43 is represented in memory as follows. How we can represent our plus 43 that is positive number in computer memory. First we have to convert our decimal number into its equivalent binary number. Here we have two methods to convert decimal number into its equivalent binary number. That method is given in the description box. Please follow that link. Here I have used repeated division by 2 method. We have to divide the given decimal number by 2 until you get the quotient as 1. Next we can represent this binary digits from this least significant bit in 8 bit representation. First our first bit is 1 that is written here. Next bit is 1. Next one is 0. Next 1. Again we have 0. Next we are write last quotient value 1. Here we don't have any digits to write so we have written 0 here. Our given decimal number is plus so we put 0 in this sign bit. 
This is our final binary representation for our decimal number 43 in computer memory. Next we can see how to represent negative numbers in computer memory. That is binary representation for negative number. Here first we have to find binary number for plus 43. Already we have seen how to find binary number for given decimal number. Here also we have used same repeated division by 2 method. Next we have to write each binary digits from least significant bit in 8 bit length. That is given here 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, again 1. We don't have any digits, so we have to add two more zeros. This is binary representation for plus 43 only. Then for minus 43, we have to find two's complement for this binary number. Complement already we have seen in the previous video. That link also given in the description box. If you have any doubt, you can follow that link. Here I will tell you a simple method to find two's complement from the given binary number. Here our given number is negative number minus 43. So we put 1 in sign bit. Then you check the binary number from right to left where the first 1 is available. Here our first digit itself 1. So we put that same 1 here. Then we have to invert all the remaining binary digits. This 1 inverted into 0. Then 0 inverted into 1. Then this 1 inverted into 0. Then next 0 inverted into 1. Then we are having 1. That 1 also inverted into 0. Then 0 inverted into 1. This binary representation for minus 43 in computer memory. Children, here we have learned binary representation for signed numbers using signed magnitude representation. Thank you children.